So the news has reported an aggressive sunflower killer has come to U.S. soil. Orobanchi kumana variety helianti, better known as sunflower broom rape from Central Asia and Southeastern Europe. It has been found on a property in uh, Yakima, Washington, or at least near there, and it's the first appearance on the North American continent. See, back in mid-July 2025, a homeowner spotted several stalks of the, the little plant in their garden plot along some sunflower volunteers from the year before, and they shared pictures online for identification. After the potential danger was discovered, they notified the USDA, WSDA, WSU, and a, a sample was finally sent to be tested in early September. Then, confirmed by Washington State's Department of Agriculture at their State Plant Pathology and Molecular Diagnostics Lab. So, who is this little villain? What is this plant, the sunflower broom rape, that sounds like some weird janitorial cosplay disaster, but is actually a destructive root parasite? It can't photosynthesize on its own at all, so the weed relies entirely on its host, Helianthus annuus. These guys right here. And it takes water and nutrients from the plants, resulting in huge crop losses. It latches onto sunflower roots and it sucks their life force like a little plant vampire. And nobody knows how the plant got here, but you know, most likely through an infested batch of seeds, sunflower seeds, whatever, maybe in bird poop. There's the, the snow bunting that uh, eats seeds and has a circumpolar migration from Asia to Western North America. So, uh, you know, maybe that's it. Who knows? And nobody knows how long it's even been in Washington. This broom rape species seeds could be viable anywhere from 10 to 20 years, just sitting in the soil, waiting. <laughs> the WSDA is calling on growers and the public to watch out for this plant and to let them know immediately. Uh, report a sighting by photographing its, the, the plant, contacting WSDA at the email and phone address that you see on the screen here. Uh, email and phone number, did I say phone address? Include the, the location, the date, the photos of the suspected weed, and more importantly, a WSDA will make arrangements to pick up and destroy the plants in a way that reduces the spread. Do not disturb it until directed by uh, the WSDA what to do because a single plant can produce anywhere from 50,000 to 200,000 seeds, just depending on the report that you read. And those seeds, they are tiny, tiny little things, like 0.2 or 0.3 millimeters. That's a, a speck that you can barely see. Uh, I think together they all look like a little bit of finely ground pepper in your hand. Touching the plant, you could be spreading, I don't know, uh, you could be spreading hundreds of thousands of plants inadvertently, shaking loose thousands of them into the soil to spread. And once it's in the ground, the seed just waits again, 10 to 20 years until it senses a sunflower plant right here, right? Uh, because they put off chemicals from their roots, mainly strigolactones and sesquiterpone, uh, sesquiterpene, uh, lactones. Mm, I practiced that and I almost got it. Oh well. I, I, anyway, uh, those seeds, after they sprout, it's basically a race against time because the broom rape's first little root grows towards the sunflower root and develops little papillae, uh, like little fingertips covered with mucilaginous compounds and sticky little fingers to just, you know, grab on to the root and the parasite sprouts little fangs called haustorium and begins feeding out of sight. And that broom rape stem, flower spike, whatever, it doesn't come up out of the ground for another 35 days or so. And flowering and seed production is often running 18 to 20 days after that, which is a little scary considering the two month gap, right? That occurred between first observation by that homeowner and uh, identification. Mm, and public notice. Uh, I mean, it's <laughs> unavoidable, right? Because at the time, who knew? I mean, here we are. 
one missed plant in a sunflower field and bam, population explosion by something that spends 35 days underground hiding. That's kind of hard to see, right? And once you do, the damage is already done. Fortunately, this uh, plant is a little bit rare among parasites, parasitic plants in that it's a specialist, right? It specializes on sunflowers. Although there are, there is some documentation that suggests on rare occasion it does attach to other plants. And it's also not the first time that an Orobanchi species has come to the Americas, right? There is uh, Orobanchi uh, aegyptica in 2014 discovered in a tomato field in Solano County, California. And now that plant is a generalist and will attach to all kinds of vegetables that we consume, but um, thankfully that one is also contained, it seems. For now, this plant, the WSDA is working with federal agencies and local stakeholders to figure out the source of the infestation, if it has spread, and of course to take action. If we sit idle, sunflower broom rape could cause massive, massive economic uh, disaster for the industry. Uh, damage to growers, to processors, exporters, and so on. And this plant has been known, broom rape has been known to achieve 100% total crop loss. Just ask the, the Spanish, you know, Spain in the 1990s got hit by this plant and their sunflower industry was hit hard. And worst case, this could lead to a shutdown of the US industry. Countries don't wanna buy potentially infected products, right? Sunflowers here are almost 900,000 acres of crops with 80% of that being in North and South Dakota, so damn good thing that we did not find uh, invasive species there. Um, and by the way, that translates to $220 million in revenue, at least in 2024. Um, what has been done to stop this? Well, I mean, the plan just got here, right? So uh, nothing yet, although surprisingly, the USDA has been thinking about this and considering this risk at least 25 years. Um, they began looking back then at uh, genetic diversity from sunflower relatives to give some sort of backup genetic uh, protection for the industry. And this is where ARS scientists in Fargo, North Dakota and some Spanish colleagues work together on hybridization techniques and so forth. Because remember, Spain had some experience fighting this plant. So they bred in hybrids from Russia, Romania, Turkey, and so forth. Because, I mean, the sunflower crops there have had more interaction with the broom rape. Because uh, Russia is kind of the birthplace of the modern sunflower oil industry. That fledgling industry had the first documented run-in with broom rape in Voronezh back in the 1860s. It's been around obviously longer than that, but uh, this was just the first time anyone gave a damn, right? Because now the plant is big industry, there's big money. And side note, uh, sunflower oil prices, did you know, spiked almost 60% in 2022 because Russia and Ukraine were at war. And they are over half the market worldwide. They've obviously those prices have come to half that spike, but it's still high. And add the risk of tariffs on vegetable oil feedstocks, and now this broom rape, right? A potential biological slaughtering um, by the broom rape plant. Things could get dark for the sunflower. One begins to wonder why do we do monoculture where we have these plants acres and acres deep uh, in rows and fields just for slaughter by a broom rape or whatever the next damn species that comes along is to attack them, right? And the initially discovered plants, by the way, if you're concerned, they were sealed up and sent to the WSDA and autoclaved into uh, sterility or oblivion, whatever. And so we don't have to worry about that. But uh, let's hope that the USDA got somewhere with their genetic reinforcement efforts for the next time that an, I don't know, intercontinental bird poop uh, lands on the ground and contaminates our crops. 
I don't know. And uh, well, stay tuned for more because I coincidentally was already working on an episode about parasitic plants because I mean, they're just really damn creepy uh, and it's Halloween, right? So that makes sense for these little vampires to be talked about. So stay tuned and that's coming soon. So like, share, subscribe, turpentine and twigsy and in a field of sunflowers. Thankfully these are safe for now.